Vanessa from Streamate. In this video, we will be discussing we will be discussing lighting and ambiance in your room. At the end of this, we will also be visiting some live cam rooms on Streamate to see what lighting concepts you are using. So come on. Okay, so I'm in my bedroom right now, and there is a lot of natural light in here. There's also overhead lighting. And I'm also extra supplementing with a ring light on a really low, dim, warm setting. So anytime that you have a window or any kind of natural light source, that will always be the absolute best lighting that you can find hands down. It's bright, um, it'll make your stream quality quality look amazing. The biggest thing that you want to do is to make sure that you are directly in front, like facing the actual light source that's streaming into your room. Because if not, if you're like to the side of it, it can also have a tendency to cast shadows. And um, that's not flattering for anybody. All right, so I'm standing right in front of my window right now. So you can see the difference. This is a little stark. It's a little bit much right now. Maybe if I were to close the shades a little, there you go, then it's more of like filtered light. Natural lighting is the way to go, if at all possible. Huge difference though, wow. Between that and this. This is away from the window, so let, let me just turn my back to it so you can see there's a huge difference, right, between that and that. Hello. So a lot of models that I see on Streamate, they will only use like the recessed overhead ceiling lighting and it's not really the best. Even with natural daylight coming in, it's still a little bit too dark. Also, you don't want it to affect your video bitrate whenever you're streaming or lower your frames per second. So it's really important to keep that lighting nice and bright in your room and not too dark. Now you don't need to spend a lot of money in order to get great lighting. You can use like the little bendable table desk lamps. You can, I think they retail for like under 10 bucks each. You could get two or three of those and set them up like behind your camera pointing directly at you so that you get that frontal lighting source. It's really important though that your face is well illuminated when you are, especially when you're in free chat because they need to be able to see you and see what's going on. I feel like this is the vantage point that most models tend to cam at. Your viewers will only get slices of you and they can gather perceptions about you in a very short amount of time simply by looking at you and your interactions, but also looking at stuff that's in your room. So if you create some sort of an environment um, or have talking points using the stuff that's also going on behind you and around you, then it might entice them to stay a little bit more just by creating, like I said, an atmosphere, an environment. You see, I have like a little lamp back there. It's good to have a, an additional light source behind you, even if it's not the brightest, because you want to draw the eye all the way to the back of the room. So it's creating that depth there. I also have a lot of candles. So at nighttime, um, you know, you can light the candles and create like a nice ambiance. On my windows, there are books. Oh, you know, oh, I see what you have books. What are you reading? So you could talk about stuff like that. Obviously it's not the most sexy, but your viewers want to get to know you a little bit. On top of that, I have just like Asian decor. So low Asian, but not, not too much going on. Like you don't want it cluttered but just have like nice little things to kind of give them tidbits about your personality or your interests. So just to recap a few tips, here are some suggestions that you can implement into your camera. Number one, use a natural light source if at all possible. Number two, position yourself directly in 